gasp, but when it happens, it's magic. What happens? You and I, horse riding is fun and it gives us freedom, but for children with disabilities, it actually gives them the physical, emotional, and mental benefits that we wouldn't actually give horse riding credit. Every week, the McIntyre Centre provides over 170 children with disabilities the chance to learn to ride and look after a horse. Through doing this, they learn many invaluable life skills and experiences. On top of this, it also helps their families as it gives them a sense of hope and happiness and allows their children to enter the real world with a sense of confidence. So let's go check it out. The McIntyre Centre has been uh, actually up and running now for 46 years. It started back in 1964 by uh, Peter and June McIntyre. Horse riding has um, a movement, like a 3D movement, that uh, you and I um, simulate as walking. And therefore, for children in wheelchairs or for low muscle, to muscle tone, um, it is the ideal form of therapy. We have children who come to us who have never felt the movement of their hips before. Every day is a bit of an experiment to see um, how we can get our riders to be as independent as possible. So once they like it, then we push and we're always pushing. We, we never stop trying to push and to do better, whether it's balance, skills, um, using words. Um, luckily with horse riders here we use words like walk on and halt and we've got kids that yell it out and they hardly talk at home. So, you know, the, the horse is a fabulous medium to use physically, intellectually, socially. Walk on. So Michelle, what is the most rewarding experience that you get from being a volunteer at the centre? I think the most rewarding experience is to see the change in the children from when they pull up in the bus. A lot of them will be quite agitated from the bus ride and not, not wanting to be here. When they get on the horse, there's a total change of personality in a lot of the kids and they just start giggling and just to be able to um, to be at one with another an animal and feel the warmth that it, it, it um, obviously that they can feel through their body and it's just, by the time they get off, it's they've just had such a wonderful experience and for a lot of the children, it's the closest thing that they'll actually experience to walking. And what would you say is your greatest achievement as a volunteer personally? Um, there's one particular little girl that comes to mind. She's actually not a little girl, she's a teenager. And um, she's been coming here for some time and she's quite, um, she's classified as non-verbal. But um, uh, working with her all this year, she now, uh, she rides the big Clydesdale mare Bebe and she will now um, when she arrives she'll look around and look for me and look for Bibi and she gets on Bibi and she goes go Bibi or woo Bibi and she just it, that it brought tears to my eyes the first time she's tried to say Michelle she just, it's just the, the best feeling ever just one of the many amazing stories to come out of the McIntyre Centre is that of Kate Marsh Kate has been riding at the centre for many years now and at the start of this year got the chance to go down to Adelaide with the team to the Special Olympics where she placed second, third, fourth and sixth in her events. And after spending some time with Kate and her family, it really is obvious what an amazing job the centre does for them all. Do you love riding, Kate? Oh, thanks.